I told you ovals are difficult, but I've gone and done it. And it's not an oval. I'm not sure what shape this technically would be called. It is a shape, though. It looks fairly geometric. The end pieces are actually the same. Shockingly, this took me two attempts to get reasonably well done. And now we have to see how many inner rings we can fit in there. Probably not many. Alright. There had to be some compromises. The two inner circles are not... Circles? These are not circles. These ovals are not very good. I think they're okay. They're not the greatest piece of work I've ever done. Uh, taking way too long to get these oval shapes done. Also, I'm thinking I need to add an extra outer layer of oval. Uh, because this currently won't really... You know, this, this mess here, I don't think can move here. Also, I'm not sure if I have the money to do the roads, considering... Uh, sorry, the highway between the two, because, uh, well, I'm running out of money, and all I'm doing now is placing basic dirt roads. Sorry, gravel roads. What do I need to do? Well, this will not be able to move all here. Maybe... Most of this stuff could. Probably about half of this stuff could move up here. Okay, I think I need to maybe add another outer ring here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay. This is looking fairly... It's looking a bit more sci-fi than I wanted this shape. If this was a company logo, I would assume this is some kind of sci-fi logo. You know, this looks like maybe you're traveling through hyperspace or something, and if we add a... Hold on, we can quickly do this, just, just to demonstrate. If we add, like, a line here, then this would be... It's like a crosshair now, so... I'm not really sure what I've done. I think there's easily enough now, enough space, to accommodate the entire industrial sector, except for farming. I might wish to keep farming here, because farming does work not too badly with com uh, with residential. It's just the noise that's the problem. There's no pollution, or there's very little pollution. In fact, it's actually zero. Uh, in fact, it's just regular industrial that makes any pollution. Also homes. Homes that have too much uh, rubbish built up also produce pollution. So I'm thinking what we need to do is now build the roads between them. Also, infrastructure, power, and such, yeah, minor problems. Also, we have to move move the industrial sector slowly into here. Also, this being on a hill, this is actually the worst place, uh, IRL, to place a lot of stuff that makes pollution, because the pollution just come down the hill and hit the city. Now, what I have done, though, that I think works exceptionally well, is achieve that balance between the mama ship and the satellite. The satellite is a different shape, definitely has a unique feel to it in terms of actual shape. Um, same kind of thing going on, but smaller and different. That's what I was going for, so I think this has worked exceptionally well. So now we have to consider the roads. There are several ways we can do the roads. So I could upgrade, I say upgrade, change this to be a four-way sort of roundabout spaghetti junction type of affair. That would work. Uh, how much do these things cost? 32 grand, I can afford it. Alternatively, I can, if I go into road view momentarily, there we are. Oh, ooh, the traffic is actually kind of building up here. Alternatively, I could have another offshoot on here, which goes over here. I'm thinking the offshoot is not going to work well for us because everything will then just want to be here and use that. So I think we don't really have a choice but to upgrade this. Now, can we? I have to do this experiment. You know, we have to test and see what we can do here. 
Can we place this? No. The game won't let me place this underground. I can raise it up, but it won't let me place it underground. I'm not sure I want to raise it up. That certainly is very expensive. Look at that. The price almost doubles on the first one, and then it, yeah, it just keeps going up, and then... Okay, we don't want to do that. Alternatively, I could bodge it myself. Bodging this stuff myself will usually end in absolute tears because we have to make sure people traveling from all directions can get onto the bodge version. Alternatively, we also have to make sure that the people going out from all directions can get into go to all directions. So that's why these things are quite tricky. However, there is a way we can sort of cheat this. And that is with um that is with Oh no, where I've lost them. Where is it? Why can't I find it here? Lots and lots of off ramps here. So hmm because I can bury them underground, you see. I can do this. This is actually completely legit. And if I have one traveling in all directions, this this works. I think I'm going to do this. So I'll, I'll be back in a moment, guys. While I uh, make an absolute mess of these off ramps. I believe I have encountered a problem with my plan. A single piece of highway that travels up the hill underground is 126,000 money. Don't quite have that, so for the moment, I'm just going to leave these roads here because they took quite a while to build because, well, building these things are quite annoying, also kind of expensive. On on the surface, they don't look too bad. That one kind of looks a bit, a bit messed up, but, you know, this actually works quite well. What I really should do is move this one back as well so it's, you know, a bit symmetrical since symmetry is, is the key and eventually I'll want to bur bury all this under underground anyway. And eventually I would like to try and get all of this underground if I can so that it's just the giant crop circles that are present on the surface as much as possible. So for now, this plan is not going to work. However, what we can do is what I originally speculated and do, oh well, I hope I can do this, and place some underground rows that just kind of, uh, oh, hold on, there we go. Slope too steep. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? We can't go underground? I'm confused. Why won't, Why can't we go underground here? I don't want to go above surface, but for some reason it's wanting to... There we go. Nope. Some stuff still blocks it for some reason. Huh? It has a very unusual shape to it. Why does it have a shape like that? What is it doing? Come on, we can do this, surely. So let's have, like, a straight offshoot. That's just a bit of a distance. And then... Get a nice bend in the road. I think we can do this way. Let's see if this can work. So we need to point in that direction. Yeah, look, it can work. It's just a case of uh, convincing the game that this is the right thing to do. Okay, this road's been a bit expensive as well. Uh, didn't quite realize how, how expensive the underground version is. So for the moment, we're going to bring this above ground so I can actually finish this without running out of money. And yes, I am building expensive roads. Yeah, look, this works. Uh, for some reason, it builds like a weird bridge. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Well, it's weird. I think for the moment, we're just going to have this road come in here. So we can actually switch that to dirt road at this point, I suppose. I'll have a little bit of a, a stem. And then from the stem, we'll try and connect these up in a way that actually doesn't look awful. In fact, we're going to make it look awful for the moment. Because we are going to end up replacing this. So we'll just do something... Yeah, that actually works quite well. That actually works amazingly well. Also, because this doesn't actually touch here, it doesn't too badly ruin the positioning here. I might just delete these roads, actually. Okay, I'm going to delete these roads. They're annoying me. They're going to go in the bin. Hold on. Right, they're gone. We don't need those roads anymore. We have connected this up. I imagine this is going to create enormous traffic jams here. At least this junction isn't very far from this junction. Oh, you know what I should do? I just had a genius idea. I'm a genius. Hold on. I'm an absolute moronic genius. You've heard of those moronic geniuses, haven't you? They're all over the place. Apparently I'm one of them. Hold on. If I can do this, this would be amazing. 
We might struggle to do it though. Because we've got clipping on, turn clipping off. Can we do this please? Slope too steep. Okay, hold on. We can do this. I think you guys might have figured out what I'm trying to do. And what I'm trying to do is completely and utterly insane. Uh, we're going to have to like create a curve here now. But that's okay. We can have a curve. Let's turn snapping back on. Wait, snapping on. Because this roundabout is so big underground... I should be able to, yes, I don't want to create it there, I should be able to actually put the exit in the middle here so that the inside lane actually serves a purpose and won't cause traffic jams. So now traffic that wants to go over here will use the inside lane of the roundabout that the AI normally would absolutely avoid at absolute all costs. Now it's forced to use it, and therefore we avoid traffic jams. Excellent. Oh, look at that planning right there. You always do this if you can. You should never do this if you can. This is totally insane, because who expects? No one expects there to be an inside lane exit on a roundabout. That is not how they work, but this works. So now, we need to get a bit more infrastructure over there, so I need to get some water pipes over there. Ding, ding, and then a bit more dings, and then we're, we're dinged. I'm not sure why I say ding in this case, because of course it's not really a ding, it's more of a smash. Uh, it's more of a Hulk smash. I am running out of cash, but that's fine. We'll do the outer ring for now. And then we'll move things inside as, as that happens. We do need to connect some power lines as well. How much is this going to cost me? Possibly quite a lot. Let's see. Uh, what? Oh, it's going across the road. We need to avoid going across that road. Uh, wow, space, space already occupied. Oh, it's touching the road. Okay, hold on. We can fix this. There we go. Right. So now we need to start populating this with industrial. Now, there's not much demand for it, which is a problem. Uh, so we'll start kind of small and then build out, because if you try and do it all at once, you'll just end up creating more problems for yourself than you actually solve. So let's start with this area here, and hopefully they will happily move in. And then what we can do, as they start moving in, we can start getting rid of stuff here. I'm going to actually build residential here and leave this commercial where it is, uh, so I'm just gonna once once things start popping up, pick up speed of course, then um, we'll be able to hopefully pull this off. It's gonna be tricky though, I think, to do it without losing a huge amount of money. So bear with me, guys. Let's see if stuff starts popping up. Nothing's popped up yet. I'm wondering if I should start unzoning a bit of the industrial to try and make this happen. Let's have a go. And doing that just a little bit, just like just the sides here, just the sides, nothing too impactful. Will this increase the demand? I'm not certain. We'll find out. Oh, I should probably just do this inner ring entirely. There yeah, you get rid of that inner ring. No, one, no one needs that. This will also start pushing back the the uh, pollution as well, which would be nice. That is not the pollution button. There it is. It'll slowly recede. Yes, you can see there was a minor, a minor flicker of movement there. Yes, look, industrial is up now. Demand is up. Are they going to come up here? Please come up here. This is where I want all the industrial to go. There is in demand for it. Is this definitely connected? This is not like a one-way road or anything. I'm pretty certain it isn't. I think it's connected. Although some businesses are actually closing. Due to a problem with whoops, that was that was not a that was not a business that was actually meant to be uh, erased, but it got erased. Don't worry about it. Demand is up, but nothing's moving in, and that's super dark. Wow, that's like mega dark. What's happened? What's happened? Is there a tornado or something? What's happened? I'm very confused as to what happened, but nothing has moved in here. Do we need better roads, maybe? Ah, yes, they're not, you know, there's not many services here. That is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to move or add additional 
fire services and things like that here, aren't I? Hmm. Let's upgrade some of these roads and see if that makes any difference. Because now, they have lights on them. Isn't that fancy? Fancy lights on the fancy road. No one's moving in. What's wrong with garbage collection? Oh man, the garbage is piling up. Uh, do we still have the, this on? Oh yeah, it's, this is still on. Let's turn that off for the moment. There you go. It's nearly empty, 1%, so it's very nearly done anyway. But let's just let the the incinerators catch up a little bit there. Is there anything moving over here? I've zoned it, haven't I? I'm not being stupid, I have zoned it. Do I just need to... No, does no one really want to go over there? Is it too far away? I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me, let me try unzoning a little bit more stuff and see if that helps. Alright, I've unzoned some more stuff. Oh wait, there's some stuff over here that's zoned. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, let's get rid of this, why not? This will also pu push back the pollution even further. Because now it's almost completely over this road. Is this causing, is this triggering anything up here? There's power, there's water. I guess I could put, like, a, a power plant here. It's completely out of the way. I can finally get the oil power plant as well, which is quite nice. I'm getting more money. Where am I getting more money from? I just destroyed a bunch of stuff and I'm getting money. Hello. What's this? What is this? Oh, that's the um, the fire station. It's got no power because it's not connected to anything. There you go. Did I use the wrong type of road on, on the underground roundabout? Nothing wants to go there. I guess I could possibly force something to go there by connecting up a, a railway station. Besides, the railway station should definitely be up here with the... Uh, with the people. Or maybe the railway station should have its own highway junction. Ooh. That would be quite nice. Although it would sort of semi-ruin the aesthetic unless we did a small, a very small, uh, a very small, what do they call the crop circle for just the trains. That could be pretty cool. No one wants to go over there. Do we need a bus service going over there? No one would use it because there's, look, did I build the wrong kind of road? I can't tell because it's underground. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let's try and upgrade it. Let's see if I actually did. No, this is all one way. This is all two-way road. This is definitely connected. So, somehow I'm making a lot of money still. And I'm wondering if I raise all, all the industrial, will they move here if I then zone up the whole lot? I don't want to zone up the whole lot simultaneously, because that is, is, is asking for a lot of trouble. We can zone up a lot more, though. Maybe I should move the bins, uh, sorry, the bin lorries out there. You can do that quite easily, because I have complete control over that. That will allow me to test if I've actually connected this up properly, because I might not have done it. That might be the problem. Okay, let's move the bin lorries over here. Or some of them, at least. So to do this, it's going to be semi-expensive. Not super expensive, I think, because these are quite a lot, but whoops. That is not the right button. I want to... No, I want to... Yeah, relocate building. How much is this going to cost me? 18 grand. I can do that 10 times over, so that's fine. Where do I want to put them? I'm thinking... We put them near the uh, the junction point. That way they get electricity as well. And they are connected up with electricity. Do, I guess... Actually, here's a question. Do these buildings actually need electricity? It's an important question because, of course, they generate electricity. So does that mean they need electricity? To get started, I suppose. Okay, I've moved all five incinerators up to here. We shall see. Well, let's go in slow mode. We shall see if that is connected. Look, totally is connected. These guys are out. They're going. Oh, and now stuff's springing up. What? Why did moving these things here, these smelly, awful, disgusting incineration plants, cause sudden growth on the industrial side of things. I'm very confused. Maybe the AI didn't realize it could go here and by placing these in, forcing the computer to figure out how on earth we get the bins over here, it now works. Is there now going to be a mass exodus? Well, there will be in a moment as I erase zoning in the area. Ah, now I have placed things on the inside ring which won't have water, so we're going to have to fix that. Shouldn't take too long. There we are. Everything has water now. And in fact, one of the things I'm going to do, because I actually quite like it, is I'm going to extend these 
these little things have rode out a bit. I'm going to extend them out to sort of the maximum distance they can. 25? 25 is a good number, so let's quickly just do that. There you go, and I'll need to get water on them as well. Done and done. Very easy. And yes, now it is time to move all the industrial over here. Stuff is now growing here, which really does shock me. Why so stuff suddenly start growing here? I really should upgrade the road out of here, because they'll move faster on an upgraded road, won't they? There you go. Get graded. That's it. We don't need to upgrade all the roads here, although that has confused one of the lorries. Quite interesting. My growth is on, on the down. Strange. Well, let's get unzoning stuff, I suppose. One problem we do have is um, we're going to have to deal with the fact that our, our facilities are going to downgrade somewhat. Is this on as well? Oh, no, that one's off too. Yeah, sure, turn this one on. I could zone this up, but there's, there's really no point because I'm going to unzone it quite shortly. Uh, the pollution there is, is still awful as well. It will get less. So this is my bus depot, isn't it? We're going to have to move that because that can't sit in the residential area because it makes quite a lot of noise, as I recall. We will have to move that. I'm going to unzone some more industrial and hopefully convince everything to move. 